Hey guys, Tim Dangerson here from New View. Today I'm going to show you how to create a uh, killer product video for your medical device in four steps. So let's jump in. Um, but before doing so, I want to talk about communication. Um, whether you're working with an internal partner or an external vendor, communication is key. At the end of the day, um, your, your production partners don't know your product like you do. Um, they haven't been involved in the, um, the inception of it. They haven't been involved in all the development of it, of it and all of the key meetings that go along with it. So the more information that you can provide about your product, its benefits to your end user, um, the smoother this overall process is going to go. Okay. So let's jump into step one. This is my favorite um, stage. It's sketching out the concept here. So what you're seeing is... On my screen is a recent project that we finished up for a client where we delivered 20 different animations and you're looking at the, um, really the final storyboards. But prior to this, we're sketching things out on napkins and passing them back with our clients um, and our clients are doing the same to us. The idea is, again, going back to communication is to communicate, looking for the easiest way to communicate to get an idea across and putting pencil to paper is by far the easiest way to do that. So the goal here is, is to pass ideas back and forth, sketch them out, and trying to develop, to develop a storyboard um, that highlights the key moments of your video, um, starts to allude to the animation, um, really shapes the whole video, okay? Very important step. Um, from there, what we do is we're starting to block it out. So there's two paths here at this stage. One for us, we're, we're providing those sketches to our 2D team and they're starting to block that out, right? Block out the flow using just those stills. Our 3D team is taking any CAD files that the client might have or imagery of a product and starting to model the necessary elements that are needed to create this video. And the two worlds meet here. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is basically taking those pencil sketches and the 3D models that we're creating and building out what's called a 3D animatic. Um, this is absolutely key in developing the, the, the flow of a video, the tone of a video, um, and helps expedite the process rather than jumping right into like, you know, final animation, okay? So we spend a lot of time here. I'd say a majority of our time here is going back and forth and making sure the animation's right. We'll sometimes put music into it. We'll add titles. Um, you really want to walk away with a final flow of the video without the final look of it. Um, from there, we're jumping into the look. How do we develop the look of the video? Okay. So what you're seeing here is our 3D artist's screen. Um, he's working in a program called Cinema 4D, and we're rendering in a program called Octane, which gives us the ability to do real-time rendering. Um, and here we're developing, you know, the look of the background, the look of the object, the, the lighting um, schematic, um, the overall look of the video, okay? So sometimes clients will provide us with brand guidelines for what the look should be. Other times they're relying on us to, to develop that look. Um, this is a process that we typically invite our clients to um, so we can work in real time to develop a look that we're all happy with. It's a very important stage because once you get into final rendering, which is step four, which is applying that look to your animatic, to go backwards becomes very costly. Rendering is not cheap. Um, rendering takes time and depending on the complexity of your animation, your lighting setup, your texturing setup, it can be very, um, the, the, the amount of frames, um, time it takes to render a frame adds up, especially if you have a long three minute animation. So you really want to try and hone in your look. What we typically do is we develop a style, render out one scene, circulate it and make sure everybody's happy. And then we render it out for the whole, um, setup the whole video. So again, just kind of recapping, I'll scrub through here and you can see the progression, right? But step one is sketching it out. Step two is taking those sketches and giving them depth and dimension and starting to develop a flow. Then we're developing the look of the whole animation and then we're applying it to what we basically did in step one, two, okay? Um, this is a very common process in the production world. Um, it's actually a very common process in filmmaking. This is what Hollywood does, okay? 
But um, if you follow the steps with your production partner, um, you're guaranteed to um, have really good results. But again, going back to my initial point, communication is absolutely key here. Um, the more transparent and communicative you can be with your production partner, the better the results will be at the end of the day. Okay. So again, my name is Tim Dingerson from NewView. This is what we do. We create supercharged content for medical brands. It's our passion. It's our expertise. And if you have any information or would like more information, uh, feel free to drop me a note or, or give me a like or drop a comment uh, in the feed. Thanks so much. Bye.